Right, Sunday morning. It's just stopped raining, and we're around Gary's house. I'm going to give Gary a hand. He's just well, he's got two sheds in his garden. Let me show you. We just moved that one there, and he's got that one over the back there. They were both sitting here next to each other. So, what he plans to do is to is it that further one there? I'm going to get rid of this one. That one's going to go, and this one. What are you doing with this one? In that far corner on the grass. So that's going. Oh, sorry, going over there. That's going in that corner there, so that'd be for his gardening stuff. So we've got to build a shed along here. A complete one-piece workshop so he can actually do stuff. So we're going to build it from scratch. We haven't got a kit form or whatever. So that's what our plan is today. Well, I say we're going to finish it today. Probably won't finish it today. We're definitely going to start it. We've got to get the base down. The floor actually slopes there. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll have to sort that out afterwards with regards to packing it up and whatever. So, yeah, bear with us. That's what we're doing today. It's Sunday, as I say. I've still got that bloody chest infection, all the tail endings of it. So, um, we're going to give this a go and make a start on this. We've just laid them out on the floor. These uh, shorter ones are uh, two metres in length, front and uh, back, as you can see there. And the long ones there are three metres. So, that's our actual floor plan, as you can see. We've kept them all pretty standard. As I say, we've got three metre lengths there. And we've also got two metre length, so you know, as little cutting as possible. So as you can see, it's quite a, a big space now. I'm quite happy with the actual space it's created. And once, as I say, once it's actually built up, he's going to have a little sort of... We've got to level it up, as I say. We're going to have to, um, once we've actually made the frame for the bottom, we've got to uh, actually jack it up to get the floor level. So, yeah, so we're just going to screw this together now. So we'll just go along now, mark all these, I'll drill all them, and that then will be the frame sorted. That's the base. Right, we're starting to get the boards down now for the base, as you can see. We've uh, squared it all up, actually uh, screwed it down to the beams. But what we've also done underneath, I don't know if you can see that, we've run a support to a bit underneath. So in the middle, going right down, going right down the middle. I so say walking on it now, it's absolutely solid as a rock. So we're just going to carry on now cut a board down there see we haven't got our blinking jigsaw so it's gonna have to be cut by hand unfortunately so we've got to put a piece in along there and then finish off along there and as you can see there we've left a support there all the way around so it's going to be nice and solid and we can get good fixings down so yeah that's what we're going to do now we'll just finish this off oh time for a sit down i've just cut that whole length there this length here by hand so it's time for a break. There's Bison over there, look the old Rottweiler. Coming along. I suppose we've been out here about an hour, I suppose. We've, we've done this in an hour so far, so we've just got to cut that piece in the corner now. Again, that's going to have to be done by hand. 
but it won't be as long as a full sheet obviously it's just the width just over well, two meters i think we want to get the frame built up obviously if we can when it comes to putting this side panel up there we're gonna to have to actually put all the feather board on the panel and then actually fix it so because we ain't gonna be able to fix the uh, feather board uh there's no room at the back there as you can probably see There we go, a nice solid base. All we've got to do is just cut the edge off there. We ain't going to do that yet, we do that last, that's not a problem. So that's the base nice and solid. That's, what's it like to walk on? Bouncing. Yep. Walk along the main part. Yeah, perfect. As I say, we've got that support beam right under the middle as well, so uh, that's worked out very well. So that's it, that's the base done. Just had a little break. We've made up the frame for this side now, uh, along there. So we couldn't get three metre feather boards. So we're going to have to stagger the joins. So we've got to sort of have a long one this one, and then we'll have a, a long one overlapping on this side sort of thing. So we actually stagger the joins. So that's the game plan anyway. <laughs> Look at that, that's a lovely side to that shed and I mean, I mean obviously all the water as you can see will run off like that and if he ever wanted to insulate it, in case he gets kicked out of his house, you could always put insulating panels in there and I'd pull it if you wanted to further down the line but as you can see it's a very substantial shed and it's going to have plenty of room once you get the roof on there as well. There we go. That's another side in. So that's the, as you can see, that's the side we can't get to because of the fence. is already done. And now this side is the, uh, the end oh, of the, uh, we can't do as well because of the fence. Yeah, so you just have to take the end screw out, that's why I say that. 
Ah, oh, mummy, what you done to your head? Oh, mummy's nearly doing it. Show yeah. what you done to your head, look. Oh, look. She bumped her little head, didn't you? <laughs> there we go. Well, that's the sock. We've still got to fix it in place, I know, but that's the uh, footprint of it anyway. So I think we've done quite a good job anyway. Well, I'll leave you at that for now anyway. As I say, we'll show you part two when we get a little bit further down. So thanks very much. Say goodbye. Hey, bye bye. Say <laughs> so, so, Albert. So, right, okay, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.